pretty. Oh, that's way better. All right, cool. Pancake editing. It's not what you think it is. I wish it was. Like a pile of pancakes with syrup jam while you edit, but that's not the case. Pancake editing is a way of keeping everything organized while you're editing, um, putting everything in different timelines. So the way I do it is I put scratch levels. So I scratch through all the footage. So I have one for interviews, I have one for all my B-roll, things like that. And then when I create different cuts, then I can have all these timelines stacked or layered and I just drag and drop into the, like, the edit layer. Um, just makes life a lot easier. I've been doing it forever, um, but I've only just realized, or not realized, I only just found out, like maybe two or three months ago, that it was called pancake editing. And since then, my mouth has been watering. So instead of like um, talking about it, why don't we like get in and have a look, okay? Oh, this is the first time I've recorded a screen recording, so yeah. You know, Drop a comment below if you think it's all right. All right, sweet, boos. I don't know, I don't know why I said boos. That's just a weird, let's just get into it, all right? Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're in a, just a normal timeline. And this is how DaVinci normally shows up. So we have uh, like your timeline that you've got. I've got a little edit in here at the moment. Uh, so how do we get different timelines? Now, it doesn't really work too well if you go and open up another timeline, I'll go into bloopers, and there you go. Like, you don't want to chop and change between different timelines, right? So, the way we do it is you have to enable stack timelines to start with. First thing you need to do is to go over this little icon here, click, and then go into timeline options, and then go into stacked timelines. Enable that, and then we get this. We get all the timelines that we want to open all in a tabbed feature. Okay, that's awesome. We can go into this timeline, we can go into that timeline. It saves us a bit of effort. Instead of opening it up, copying what we need, opening the next one, pasting what we need, we can just go like this. That doesn't help me too much. That's just stack timelines. I want pancake timelines. So, next thing we need to do is we need to enable another timeline. Really simple. How good's that? All right, sweet. So, uh, so now we have multi timelines. And the great thing about these are, we just, uh, well, let's just turn that one off. Uh, we just go on the drop down and we can pick where we want to do. Now I've created a test one. So now we have a test timeline and we have the bloopers timeline up here. Okay, and say we wanted a third timeline. So we wanted to drag uh, some more scratch footage. So we just go up here and we just add another one. Now we're just gonna make it a little bit more space to make it a bit easier. So we've got test timeline here. I don't really want test timeline there. Let's put, uh, um, yeah, let's just put that one. And then, uh, yeah, let's put test on the bottom. And the great thing about this is now, I mean, they're all separate timelines, but we can just interact with them the way we would normally. So say I want to, oh, go up to this timeline. Oh yeah, that's a really cool clip. Um, let's grab this one and just copy it over here. And it copies into this new timeline. And then I wanna grab this, and I wanna grab it and put it there, and I wanna grab this bit of footage, or a bit of audio, I wanna put it here, and then I just wanna make this a bit bigger so we can see, there we go. Yeah, friggin' great. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, so once we've got all this stuff done, the next thing we want to do is bloody be able to close them down. We don't need to, really simple. You just go down to the uh, and the little X mark, kill it, you got two now. Now you got one, but we're still stack timelines. So if we click on that add button, we can then grab whatever timeline we want added into this section here. Easy peasy. All right, there you go. Pancake timelines. Really helpful to keep you organized. Really helpful for me to make the end edit a lot quicker, be able to pull in all the different footage as you need it. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.